Hey guys, what's up? So today we're going to be going through functions, guys, and functions are really basic. Um, it's a very basic and easy concept. So we're just going to go through it. Cool. So let's look at the definition. So it says a function is a process, right? It's a process. That really what that's really what it is. I think that's the best thing to say. It's a process or a relation that associates each element of x of a set x, the domain of the function to a single element y of another set y and that's pretty much the formal definition for it but it really makes a lot of sense so for example whatever x is here let's say x is 1 or 2 it will be mapped onto the domain right where you put a 1 in here or you put a 2 in here it's a very simple concept guys so basically you have a set of numbers in your domain and you put them in the function in order to get your codomain. It's kind of really simple. It's very simple. It's much simpler than the definition shows, man. So let me just give you some examples right away. Um, let's just jump into it. So for example, guys, this is the function f of x is equal to 2x minus 5, right? And let's say we want to put the following numbers into x, into f of x, right? Let's say x is 1. 2 and 3 right and we need to find f of x so we need to find um, 2x minus 5 for 1 2 and 3 cool so I'm gonna give you an example of this now so clearly this is the domain over here clearly this is the domain and clearly this is the codomain cool because we're gonna find the codomain by putting the numbers in here so it's kind of really simple guys so let's just do it the first thing we need to do, we need to put 2 times 1 minus 5, right? We need to put the 1 into the f of x, and f of x is equal to 2x minus 5. So 2 times 1 would give us 2 minus 5, which would give us negative 3. So 1, if x is 1, it maps on to negative 3. Kind of really simple. Same thing with 2 here. If you put a 2 inside the equation right because that's really what we're doing here guys we're putting a 2 inside this equation right um, it's really simple guys all you have to do is just put the number in there so if they ask you to find f of 1 right because that's really what it is f of 1 that's what you do you put the 1 in the equation if they ask you to find f of 2 that's what you do you put the 2 in the equation so here we have 2 times 2 minus 5 which would give us 4 minus 5 which would give us negative 1. Kind of really simple. Same thing, f of 3. We'll just put 3 in the equation. So 2 times 3 minus 5 would give us 6 minus 5, which would give us 1, right? So it's kind of really simple, guys. I think this is just so simple. Let's do some examples over here. Let's find g of 1, um, g of 2, and g of 3. So um, first thing we're going to do is we're going to put a 1 where the x is, right? So we're going to get 3 times 1, which is just 3. So g of 1 is equal to 3. Same thing here. Um, we're going to put a 2 where the x is, so 3 times 2, which would give you 6. And then, of course, g of 3 would be 3 times 3, okay? Which would give you 9. So I think it's rather simple, guys. This is really simple. They ask you questions like these in the exam. They'll give you this, f of x or g of x and ask you to find g of 2 or g of 3. It's very simple. Don't overthink it, guys. It's a very simple thing. So we're going to clear the screen now, and I'm going to do two more examples. Cool? All right, guys. So we're back in it, and we're going to do some simple examples, right? So now we're looking at p of x. That's the name of the function. And h of x, these are the name of the two functions. And we're going to find p of 1, p of 3, and p of 5. Okay? It's kind of really simple. This is just basic functions. Cool. So we're going to put 1 where the x is. So we're going to get 2 times 1 plus 3 over 1 minus 4. Okay? And that would give us 2 plus 3 over 1 minus 4 would give us negative 3. So that would give us a negative 5 over 3. Cool. 
if you divide through by a negative number, you're going to get a negative number. So it's negative 5 over 3. That one was really easy. Let's do the next one, guys. 2 times 3 would give us 2 times 3 plus 3, because we put the 3 where the x is. Then we're going to get 3 minus 4, which would give us 2 times 3 is 6 plus 3 over negative 1. And that would give us 10 divided by negative 1, which is the same thing as negative 10, right? Um, because if you divide 10 by a negative 1, right? If you divide a positive 10 by a negative 1, you're still going to get negative 10. Cool. So that's the answer. Let's just put it over here. It's negative 10. And then let's find P of 5 now. Um, let me write that 5 better. I don't really like how it looks. Let's fix it up here. And P of 5 now, we're going to put 5 where the x is, so 2 times 5, mine, um, plus 3, sorry, divided by 5 minus 4, and that would give us 10 plus 3 over positive 1, which would give us 13 over positive 1, which is just 13. Cool? Very simple. Very, very easy. Very, very simple, guys. This is all you need to do in the exam, okay? It's not really, a, <laughs> it's not really hard. So let's try to do this one now. Let's do h of 1, h of 3, and h of 5, right? So h of 1 would be 4 minus 3 times 1. So that would end up being 4 minus 3, which is 1. So that's the answer for h of 1. Um, h of 1 is equal to 1. Then for the 3 now, we're actually going to say 4 minus 3 times 3 this time, which is 4 minus 9, which is actually negative 5, okay? So h of 3 is actually negative 5. Um, and h of 5 now would be 4 minus 3 times 5, so it's actually 4 minus 15, which is actually negative 11, okay? It's very simple. This is the basics, guys. This is the basics basic functions. This is all we're doing. Um, and I'm going to move on to composite functions. But this is very basic. No one should really get this wrong. You know what I mean, guys? <laughs> all right. So let's move on, guys. And I'm going to go on to composite functions. But this is the end of this video. I'm just showing you some basic, basic functions. Cool? All right, guys. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Awesome. That's it. And... I'll see you in the next lecture and remember to do your best and God will do the rest.